Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a very different type of video than I've done so far on the channel. And this is going to be a vlog. I guess you would call it a vlog anyway. So behind me you might notice that where there are normally dozens and dozens of movies, it's now just a couple books. You see some things down here. Those are my wrestling Blu-rays, you know, some collections over here, but nothing above me and nothing on the side here aside from a couple of books. And that's because finally, after talking about it for months now, I have finally been able to build some new movie shells. I am so excited to share this process with you guys because it was a long time coming and it took a heck of a lot of work. Fortunately, I took some time off from work uh, and my dad had some time off, so he was able to come down and help me with this. You know, uh, thank God for him because without him, these never would have happened. So what I did was kind of uh, film the process a little bit. So I have some footage from basically some before footage. I have some uh, in action footage or footage that we were I filmed while we were in the process of making it and some of the hurdles we had to overcome because of our unique situation. And then finally, I do have the finished product. Well, it's like 98% finished and you know, it won't look that much different when it's 100% finished. So I hope uh, you guys enjoy going through this process with me. Uh, it was very, it was a very simple idea that I, you know, took from multiple other YouTubers and uh, was able to, you know, make it work for what I was dealing with here. I do want to warn you before you waste your time with the video, if you're not looking for just a vlog of me going through this process, this is not going to be a how-to video. I don't really talk about all the different tools needed and things like that, or, you know, all the material needed necessarily um, in a how-to format. So that's not what my goal was. I just simply wanted to share my process of building these shelves with you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this vlog. I've never done a vlog like this before. If you would like to see more vlogs, please let me know down in the comments below. If you think, hey, never vlog again, tell me that too. I'd love to hear that as well. So, all right, without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so this is the backdrop you're used to just with much better lighting. I'm gonna scan around here. You can see my very messy desk. That's what I'm using to work from home right now. Uh, this is what I'm typically looking at over here, my lights, but over here is what counts. So we have the before of the basement. This is uh, where my projector screen is and you can see my projector over there. So. Uh, the guitar, which no, I cannot play it, but I have it stood up just because. So anyway, this is going to go away. This is going to go away. Obviously, everything on top of it's going to go. Um, and then this chair will likely go. And I'm going to move all these things back over here. So I am going to move this over here. It's going to live right there. And then this tall one, likely the ones that are on here, this is all my 3D Blu-rays. Those will likely just fit on the shelves I'm hoping to put in. And so those, this shelf will likely just move up to my upstairs area. This is just a bathroom, FYI. So you can see I have my uh, surround sound system here. But one thing I'd forgotten was that I'm just using the dresser as a stand for these two and then that's my my video game shelf which again super messy i apologize but i so i actually have speaker stands coming for those guys so the idea here let me get a better look here the idea oh and by the way the windows are just they have black duct tape on them just so that it is as dark down here as possible while watching movies so the idea is to have uh this all cleared out and then in between these two um, outlet, you can see the, the outlets coming down here. That's where the shelves will go. And then it'll go right up to the top of the window all the way down. So the idea is that this whole thing that we're looking at now, basically in frame will be all movie shelves. So that's the idea. This is the before, hopefully when it's all said and done, it'll look how it is, uh, how I'm envisioning it. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> progress you can see the wood is cut to height now so it's going to go 
below the window and then we actually add an extra shelf up the top there and we cut out some little notches so wires can go through all three of them as need be so now the next step is getting these boards attached to the wall with l brackets and moving on from there we've hit a bump in the road so the concrete is proving impossible to drill through so because of that we have to come up with an alternative option for these we are trying to decide if we have a device that will punch a hole through the concrete and then these would be sitting this way as opposed to this way that said it'll be the same amount of uh, distance between the wall so that is good for the movies to rest it's just a matter of can we get these <laughs> attached to the wall so that is the roadblock that we are currently in so we'll see if we can get past it so this is a hammer drill this is what we needed to get through the concrete so what we're doing now you can see our first one is in it was able to go in so now instead of them sitting like this it's just going to sit with this on it here so it's going to be the same depth just a different way of doing it and there'll be less space to use because of uh, using the front of this versus the side of it but it's all right it's the adjustment we had to make for it to work in our concrete wall so still moving just uh, taking a lot longer than anticipated okay so the most difficult part of the project is done but we have our six support beams in, if you want to call it that and then we're going to put the two by fours flush against them here but you can see these won't move so this is actually much sturdier than the l brackets would have been uh, and they work for the concrete that we're using so we are moving forward okay so it's coming together that was, this was super easy compared to the first part so we have the two by fours attached to the other two by four which is uh, bolted to the wall so that's what the front of the two by four that's what it's going to look like you're just going to see the front of the two by fours and then the movies are going to go in between so the next step is to get the one by twos across the way here and there's going to be about six shelves on this side and seven on this side and then there'll be a one by four at the very top that i can use to set some like funko pop figures or things like that on it so chugging right along now so you can see the first shelf is on and there's a couple movies there already so we know we're good so we can continue on up so all the shelves are officially up and now we are just adding this top layer to act as a shelf on both and so that is our next step before we really are done i guess at that point other than me filling up the movies again so came along a lot smoother once we got everything attached to the cement wall so this will look remarkably similar to the last update but we do have this on now to act as a shelf and that's not going anywhere the last step the last thing we need to do is get another one by two so that it matches the, the look here, matches the look up here. So that'll be the last thing, but it is getting late in the day. And so that'll be a project that we finish uh, later on this week or over the weekend or something along those lines. So, uh, so far, so good. Now it's just a matter of getting the movies in, which I should be able to fit a ton. So this is very, very exciting. I decided to start with the Criterion Collection and Scream Factory Collection into the shelves. And so that is how it looks so far. So now I have about that much space to fill in the rest. I just have these sitting up here for now. That's not how it's going to look at the end, I'm sure, but that's what I have now. So now the next step is to go through all of those, pull out, at least right now, I'm just a focusing on the horror movies and uh, this gigantic box filled with horror movies. Uh, double layered so it's going to be quite fun alphabetizing this plus that into one alphabetized list so I can then start filling in the rest of the shelves so if I have room for I don't know sci-fi afterwards I'll probably that'll be my next stop but at this point I just wanted my collections up there like Criterion and Scream and then I want my horror movies out. So we'll go from there. So this is starting to come together. I uh, am a little nervous because I'm having less space left over than I anticipated after putting in these two collections. So we'll see how much I can fit in. 
it's not a big deal if I don't get to fit everything in. I'll just, uh, you know, work with what I have. That's all you can do is work with the space that you have provided. So, so far, this is what we got. I forgot to mention in the last update that all of these were actually in uh, binders, all of those movies. So they were mostly in this binder here. Uh, so I had this shoe box that had my slip covers. And then these are the non-horror ones and they're all in alphabetical order from when I did it. I have no idea why my 2015 self, when I was moving things into binders, decided that the best idea would be to take out everything completely strip the cover art from the blu-ray cases on top of everything else so you can kind of see it in the mesh here there's one binder there that has movies blu-rays in it and then those over there which you can barely see have mostly dvds so i'm not really going to mess with the dvds just focusing on the blu-rays now and then let the dvds fill in as we go but yeah so it has been overwhelming and very eye-opening to realize just the absurd amount of blu-rays i own i thought i got rid of so many and frankly i did but i still have this much and i understand there's plenty of people out there that have five times the amount i do i totally get that but for me it feels like an overwhelming amount at this point because i'm trying to get them all back onto shelves which they haven't been in about five years so it's been very eye-opening and frankly, a bit overwhelming, the amount of work that's gonna have to go in and continue to go into getting these out of the binders and back to their Blu-ray cases. So that's what I'm working with at this point. So you can see all of the movies, many of the movies rather, have left this area and they have been moved into piles over here. I also went through my binders again and pulled some, uh, basically all of these that you're looking at, those five. Are, we're all in binders about an hour or two hours ago. These ones back here were all on that shelf back there. And then that box, those were all in binders earlier, but I already showed that box. So on the wall, we have the um, Criterion Collection and then Scream Factory. And then we have Aero Video, Vestron, and then Oscilloscope. Uh, and then the idea now is, so each of these piles, like that's A through whatever, D, and then so on and so forth, so A through Z, and then again A through Z. So now I have to combine these piles, this pile, and this box, A through Z. So that is the next step, is to get all of these movies, which there's about 500 in this stack here, uh, from A to Z. And doing the math, the hope is that these 500 will fit along these six here, and probably I'll have to use this seventh one as well. So that's the goal. We'll see what actually happens. Of course, it's getting very late again tonight. So this project will continue on the next day. Tomorrow is going to be quite a chore alphabetizing everything. Fortunately, like I said, this is all alphabetized and all these piles are all alphabetized. So it's just going to be a matter of combining all the A's with the B's uh, or rather all the A's together and then all the B's together and so on and so forth until we get to Z. And then we can finally get them up on the wall. But it's not going to be quick. It's not going to be uh, easy. It's just going to be uh, time consuming. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So that was a lot of work. But now we have every disc in its correct pile. So we have like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, two things up, and then all the way over, all around my carpet here. Again, into the mess. There's R up there. We have S and T up top there. And then over here, we have the end of the alphabet. So everything is kind of spread out now. So now it's just a matter of re-alphabetizing because they were already alphabetized in their original piles but now they have to mingle together so i'm about to find out if all of this is going to fit because one thing i forgot last night was my 3d blu-rays were on their own shelf previously and now i want to get rid of that shelf and hopefully include them up here so now we're going to see if we have to start here with a here with a or if we can just start right here with a uh, that's my next goal to figure out so now i've got to do a lot of math and uh, see where it takes us from there. There it is. So this is about as close to 100% as we're going to get, probably about 95% of the way there. 
I filled it in. This is still temporary up here. This needs to be drilled in and I have to get another one by two to go across there so it matches the look there. Uh, the movies up here are just temporary at this point. I don't know exactly what I wanna put up there but that's what I grabbed so far. So I filled in everything here. So we have now my select vinegar syndrome titles there which I say select if you are a collector of vinegar syndrome or know about vinegar syndrome, you know why I only have a select <laughs> a few vinegar syndrome titles out. And then below that is the TV on Blu-ray series or collection, I guess. And then A starts here all the way through Z down there. And that is going to be my horror and sci-fi movies plus some extra favorites. I don't have my superhero movies in there, but that is planned for phase two, if you will. So I've already talked with my dad who helped me put these together and we are going to turn this wall into another set of shelves, which will basically match this here under the window. And then um, it'll, be, it'll be able to hold about another three to 350 movies. So that'll be awesome. If I don't fill it, it'll be very close. So I can get basically everything, Blu-ray at least, all of my Blu-rays out of binders. So this is essentially the finished product, at least as close as it's going to be in this in this vlog. So the great thing is that each section has room for growth. So you can fit about five regular sized Blu-ray cases at the end of each of these. So that way I can, you know, add to the collection without having to re-alphabetize the entire thing every time I do that. As for the shelves themselves, I think they look fine. I'm not probably going to end up painting them or anything. It's something I could do down the line if I choose to, but really I, I knew what they were gonna look like and I don't have any problem with it. It's really just about finally being able to once again appreciate my large movie collection and that's exactly what I'm now able to do. So instead of being in binders, they are out where they're supposed to be with those spines a showing. So very pleased with it. Very, very happy how everything turned out. And like I said, this right here will be done hopefully very soon. Uh, if not, it won't be this week because I'm back to work again, but it should be quickly after that. So hopefully you guys like this as much as I do. Very easy to do once you're figuring out how to drill into cement. Uh, that was really our only hurdle everything else was relatively easy. So that's what they look like. This is going to be, like I said, about 98% finished and uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. So that's going to do it for my movie shelf building vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, I am now in front of my new backdrop. Hopefully this will be a little more engaging, at least for a while, than the other was. Of course, it's still, you're just looking at movie spines, but whatever. I enjoy that when I watch other YouTube videos. So I figured, you know, you might enjoy it as well. So again, a huge thank you to my dad. Without him, these shelves would not be possible. I know he's not watching, but if he was, I would just want to say thank you again. It is amazing how he was able to get through the concrete uh, dilemma that we were facing and still make it work. Thank God for family because uh, without them, we would have had to have spent a lot more money to actually rent a hammer drill. <laughs> so fortunately, they had one that I could borrow and we were able to get the uh, blocks into the cement as needed. So I am super thrilled with these shelves. They are exactly what I was hoping for. And other than a couple things like up top with the uh, extra one by two and then another set of shelves over to my right, this is pretty much done. So as you saw from the beginning of the video, that movie shelf that I used to have my movies on is completely empty at this point. But I have just piles and piles of movies beyond me here, beyond the behind the camera lens, and they are waiting to go somewhere. So that will be filled up very shortly. I have a dresser filled with video games that need to go somewhere as well, and I'm hoping they will go in the places that the Scream Factory and the Criterion Collection movies used to be. But I'm still working on some of the logistics there, getting an, a bunch of movies out of binders still. So this is very much an ongoing process, but the shelf behind me, I am so happy with because it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted more space. I feel better. My hands have places to go now, which is probably a hell of a lot more distracting for you. So I apologize for that. But either way, I'm so happy with these shelves. Let me know down below. What did you guys think of these shelves? Is this something that you are interested in doing? If not, 
I totally understand because it can be, you know, a pain in the butt. You might not have the room for it, whatever the case may be. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to have more of a conversation with you guys down there. All right, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to Cinefessions here on YouTube. And if not, thank you anyway for watching. I really appreciate it. All right. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.